crafter and I was watching a video from Amity Bloom I'll link it down below um, she was showing you how to make envelopes and things for magazine pages so these are some these are my prototypes and um, so what happened was <laughs> my sister chopped off oh my goodness a huge stack of magazines and after I watched Auntie Bloom I was like I don't know what I want to do with them so if we just go through them one by one and then I'll show you how I made one so we'll have this with the teddy bear and then I've just stamped over the top just to give it a little bit more interest and it just opens like a traditional envelope except where I glue that bit down and um, I have this with the cushion stamped on the reverse as well because I was thinking we could use these as like pages in the journal so that's why I wanted to stamp on the back as well yeah that's my idea with them obviously you don't have to use them in a journal you know um, I love the purple on this one and again this is my favourite though I love that one Um, oh, I've got two more. I thought there's only one more. This one. And I love this one as well. So first, we're going to take a magazine. This is Knit and Stitch. Oops. Are we in? Just about. I'm going to pick a page. This one's quite nice and just pull it out and then we're going to take and then we're going to take our envelope template place it on where we would like it and just draw around see we have our pencil outline and just with a pair of scissors we're going to cut it out so we have our put out envelope I'm going to keep this for later so we flip it over and we take one edge and fold it in I'll bring this in for reference to create this line here. I'm going to rotate it to do the other side. And then I'm going to bring the bottom up. <coughs> bottom up. And then the top flap down. Just check it, it's square enough for me. And then with the handle of my scissors, I'm just going to go over all of these four lines, really crease them down like that. And there you have the basic construct of an envelope. So I'm now going to stick it all together I'm just going to apply glue to where our flat edges here I'm going to come around to these flaps apply glue yeah and the same on the opposite side fold those flaps in and fold button and push it down and then we have minus the blue one in the front and envelope 
Now, oh, mind that that writing's the wrong way around, upside down. Because we're going to put some of it up anyway. I kept these out. And I'm just going to bring it in. My stuff I put in that. This bit off, I don't need that bit. And cut out these words. With a knife because I can't cut straight with scissors. So all I did was some of the words that were left on that page I cut out. And I'm gonna mount them to the front of the envelope. But I think I would like to bring it in just a scrap there's just scraps of paper I've had lying around and I think I'm gonna I think that one I'm not gonna mount but these two I am and I'm just gonna use a stick for this All of that came from one page of the magazine. Now with a finishing touch, I pulled out this stamp set. I think it's by Door Crafts. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But I have had this a long time. Hang on. It says Design Objectives Limited on it. Pretty sure I got its Door Crafts though from um, The Reach. And I just thought... I know this is knitting and crocheting and this is sewing, but it's a similar sort of theme. So I went with it. <laughs> so I want to decide, I love this one, the Taylor's Dummy. And I think that would look beautiful there. I'm gonna bring in an acrylic block. Put that on there. And I'm just gonna, Oh, I should put it at the bottom underneath. Now I'm using stays on ink in jet black because this is such a shiny paper and this dries really quick as well. Now I don't know if that actually needs anything more on that side. Let's see. We have a heart button. Which I am just going to put here. Like so. And now on the reverse. Give that a quick. I like this tape measure. Try and stick it on the block the wrong way. Good over a bit. I'm going to put you over here. and I feel like we need something up here um, up the scissors. do I like scissors? I don't think I like the scissors I 
like a bobbin of thread. Oh, we could put that right in the centre there. Something else. I have this. I don't know what it is. Like a lace. Put that there. Oh no. Oof. Didn't give the best impression, but it'll do for me. <laughs> There we have a really quick and simple envelope from a magazine I was going to get thrown away. So we're flipping everything in. These are the ones I made earlier. I still love that one. and used up some scrap paper which is always a plus because I have too much of it yeah I'm happy so now I said we put this one side do something with it I would like to make a little something to go in that in the block that we just made where's the one we just made One was it? Which one was it? That one. In this, it's just a nice size. So I'm gonna cut this roughly in half. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna leave it as a book format. But I'm going to flip it so this is now on the outside. Oh, we have enough to make two, we might as well do two at once. <laughs> I did put that over there though, that's, that's half of it. Why can't we use that? So I'm just having a quick flick through. Trying to get some inspiration because I don't actually know what I want to put on the front of this. going to go there and I want another word. Oh, what about cast on? Because that's like a different. <laughs> Just about using what's available. Okay, so I stuck those down and I've realised this is very thin, especially since I put the weight of the, what's that called when you do it? Matte. The matting on. So instead of making two, because I also don't like the inside of this, I'm gonna now stick this to that. 
to make the cover a bit sturdier. I'm just going to use Pritt stick. that into place. Now I didn't cut it exactly right but we can sort that out later. As you can see I wasn't very neat with my glue in. Get to show. Just pull that edge back in. And then that cover has a bit more strength to it. So next I was thinking more of my paper scrap that I've had for ages to make a little booklet. Now, hmm, I think we're going to fold it. Like so, and then I will cut off because it's obviously too long. The excess, so I will be back because I've misplaced my knife. Okay, so what I did was I folded several of the sheets of paper and I just alternated the pages. So that's one page of the folders on the front, the other page the folders on the back. I trimmed it down the size, just using the knife and the ruler, or the ruler and the knife. And I straightened up these edges as well. And now I'm just going to run this over to my sewing machine. First I'm actually going to straighten up these edges, I've just realised. How bad the work should I say? Ooh, try and cut the paper and not the knife. The ruler even. Actually, I'm gonna come in with the scissors, it's gonna be easier. I'll run this through the sewing machine and I will be back. What I did with the sewing machine was I just put the pages together, put them right in the middle of the book and I just ran that down the sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine you could staple the pages together. You can do the three hole pamphlet stitch I think is what's called. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> I will do soon though. Okay. And there we have our little booklet to go in our envelope. For saying that I didn't think that was going to fit. Don't know why. And that was all made from magazine pages, a bit of scrap paper, and just some rubber stamps to add a little bit of something. And you could just put that in a pocket of a journal. You could bind it in, so you would make this like page one, page two. You could put it in a tuck spot. You could just have a collection of these, <laughs> like I have, like all the other ones. I just keep looking at. But I do like the fact that we'll have something in there made from the same sort of thing. Make it this gift like my sister crochets. Now I know this is knitting. Do you do cut a stitch and crochet? I don't crochet. But you know what I mean? If you had a knitter in your life, you could just go with a little little notebook that could write pattern ideas down and stuff like that. Huh. There you are. Little stocking filler. Or Easter or Christmas. Christmas is a starting filler. You know what I mean. <laughs> so 
so I hope this gives you some inspiration of what to do with your old magazines. I am, I'm chuffed. My favourite is still, I can't remember. I love them all. I think it's that one or that one. Oh, or the teddy bear, you know, the, I love them all. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. I am the Canny Crafter and I'm just going to leave that there and I'll see you next time. Bye!